Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Power Hour Clean With Me. Today we are on location at our first vacation rental of our three week trip to Florida and it is actually checkout day. So if you are not new to the Airbnb VRBO world, then you know that when it comes time to check out, the owner has a list of things for you to do to prepare the house for checkout. So on top of packing everything that belongs to us, I also need to get the house reset and go through the checklist and make sure I don't miss anything. So that's what we are doing now. We have to be out of this house by 10 a.m. and it's actually about 9 o'clock at this point. So I am really under crunch time. So this is really going to be a quick power hour clean with me. I hope that you are ready to clean along with me and ready for some motivation. And also please be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm actually going to share a tour of our beach house. Darling, darling, why'd you even call? If it's like pulling teeth when you're talking to me, why do we talk at all? Oh, darling, oh, why do we talk at all? You got me strung up like a wrecking ball, hanging around at your beck and call. Mercy, mercy, better look out below You're avoiding me like a thing of the past Stepping around like I'm broken glass If you're not feeling this, you gotta let the go know So like I said, we are actually on a three week trip to Florida and at this particular location we stayed four nights. Usually what we do is we will pick an Airbnb and stay for at least a week, sometimes a little bit longer at one location and then head over to the east coast of Florida to visit my husband's grandparents. But this year we're doing it a little bit different. We actually booked this house kind of spur of the moment and decided to make our trip a little bit longer than we had originally planned. But after leaving this home we are heading down south a little bit further to meet up with Nick's parents and we are going to be spending about a week at a new location with them. So it's super exciting and kind of fun just to switch it up a little bit. And I'm actually laughing as I'm packing most of this stuff because a lot of these clothing items I did not wear at this location. We pretty much just swam at the pool and went to the beach a couple of times and didn't do much more. Just tell me if you want to leave, you want to let me go Because baby, honestly, I'd rather be alone Than strung up like a wrecking ball Hanging around at your beck and call Mercy, mercy, look out below So this particular Airbnb had three bedrooms and we split it up 
where Nick and I had the master bedroom, my older two had the third bedroom, and then the three little boys shared this room that has the twin beds. So in each room, I tried to go ahead and organize each person's clothing in their drawers. That way it was just easier to get to. And I'm going to go ahead and link right here in the cards my previous video where I was cleaning and packing for vacation. In that video, I shared a little bit more of how I actually pack for seven people. I obviously do not pack enough clothing for each of us to have three weeks worth of clothes, but I always use the washer and dryer available at our Airbnbs, and it really helps me not have to pack as much, but still be able to have enough. So I kind of make it just feel like home. That's what I like about staying in homes more than staying in hotels. It's just easier as a large family mama. I am going to go ahead and take a moment to and introduce myself to any of you who may be new. My name is Sarah. I'm a mommy to five and I'm pregnant with my sixth baby. So obviously mom life continues wherever I'm at with having so many kids. We're on a fast flight. No second too late, more than a get by. Life legends, life legends, master the sea. So I'm really interested to know how you all vacation. Are you more of a hotel person or a Airbnb VRBO person? I used to really like hotels, but the more kids that we've had, the more inconvenient they are. Honestly, with our family size, we almost need two rooms or a suite, and then you do not have a private pool, etc. It just doesn't work for us with like baby's nap times. The beauty of an Airbnb with a private pool is that I can lay the babies down for nap, and then I can go outside and actually have a moment to myself to like bask in the sun. So honestly, we like never look at hotels anymore if there is a VRBO or Airbnb option, but I would love to know how you all vacation. So let me know in the comments below. Get ready for the change. Whistle blowing through explosives. We're all on board, pushing forward. So this next like little bit really made me laugh because you can really tell how pregnant I am getting and how unable my body is to do a power hour quickly and efficiently. I had to like sit down to finish sweeping which totally cracks me up but my body was so done. I'm actually getting ready to enter my third trimester so I guess it's about time that my body would start like really being like hey simmer down but you know I had to push through it it had to be done and if you're wondering my husband is helping he's actually managing all the kids right now and doing some of the behind the scenes things that the checklist required I told him it would be super helpful if he kind of just took the kids and kept them out of the way that way I could just knock this out So another great perk to renting a house instead of a hotel room is that you can actually have the amenities of a home. That includes a full kitchen, dining room, etc. So what we do with having so many kids is we actually 
make a huge Costco run before we leave our house and we bring most of our food and groceries with us. Once we get to vacation, really all we need to grab is like milk and produce and then we're good to go. So we do cook a lot of dinners in and all our breakfast and lunch are done inside the house. It saves a ton of money. It saves a, a ton of effort. And honestly, for us, it's just more relaxing than taking five kids to a restaurant for every meal. Another party's awakening. Nowhere left to hide The ice around us is breaking Nothing to divide We're unrestricted The water shifted out among the crowd Like hieroglyphics On walls it's written we already know Slide into the day So I made the mistake of not reading the checkout list until the morning of and in it it said that we could not leave any dishes in the dishwasher. So that meant that this last little bit of dishes that I had I had to do by hand and go ahead and put those away. That is the only downfall of an Airbnb is obviously a hotel you can just leave it as it is but at an Airbnb there is a checkout list of things that you have to clean. Usually they want you to start a load of laundry, etc. And I understand it because they are under a quick turn. There was actually people, I'm sure, coming in after us on this particular day. So the house cleaner can only do so much within the hours that she's given. But it really sucked that I had to do a bunch of dishes by hand when I was already crunched for time. At this point, we are in crunch time. It is almost 10 a.m. and I really need to finish the last little bit on this to-do list so we can get out and be courteous of their checkout time. My husband is also going ahead and loading the car at this point with all of our food and luggage, etc. That way we can be out on time. But I did have a little bit of laundry that I wasn't able to get to at this location, so I'm just going to transfer it into a garbage bag and I will do it at our next house. But before we leave, I wanted to give you a quick tour of the house. Here is the main living space. It is obviously decorated in a very beach theme. There are two life-size dolphins, actually. The decor here was a little bit too beachy for my taste, but the owner did really well with making sure that we had everything that we would need, every kitchen gadget, washcloths, towels, etc. This is the first bedroom that I'm going to show you. This bedroom had two twin beds, and like I said, this is where the three little ones slept. So the room was totally large enough for them and had tons of storage. Here's the hallway off of that bedroom, and to the right, there is this full-size bathroom that all of the kids used. I liked that it had a big bathtub. That way, the kids had a bathtub to use as well as a shower. And it was nothing special, but it was totally efficient and clean. Here is the bedroom that my older two shared. It was just a full-size bed. It had enough storage for their clothes, nothing fancy, but you know. 
Here's the kitchen. It was more of a galley style kitchen and even though it was small, she did have all of the amenities that we would need except for this microwave, y'all. This microwave was ancient and I never could figure out how to work it. It was like something from like 1980, I swear. Here is a glimpse of the master bedroom. It was actually a really large room and we actually had a private entrance to the backyard pool, which was nice. And it had tons of storage. The closet had tons of dressers, etc. And it was honestly more storage than we needed, but it was nice. It also had its own walk-in closet and bathroom, which was super convenient as well. So and all in all, I really liked this house. It was simplistic. It was actually really inexpensive. It was only like $140 a night. This bathroom also had an entrance to our outdoor pool area, which is where we spent most of our time. So if the kids needed to use the restroom, they could just enter through the outside door into our master bathroom and not have to track water all through the house. But we literally spent the majority of our time out here. We ate out here. We swam out here. We sat out here. This is really what sold us on the house, and it was also fenced in on both sides of the screen as well. So all in all, we had a great trip here, and we are ready for the next half of our vacation. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe because we will be sharing more vacation content as we go along. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Words are just words till you put them with a melody Sing them from the tallest tree as a song Love is just love as you've seen it on the movie